Please help my son. I fix cars for a living. Okay, I got you. Here we have these four equations, and we are going to solve for the variable that's asking. For the first one, we have 9x plus 2y is equal to 18, and we are going to solve for y. So have a look. Here is the y. We want to get this by itself, and this is what you want to do. Let's get rid of the 9x first, and to do so, we subtract 9x to both sides. This and that will cancel, and then we will get this right here is 2y. Bring down the equal sign. This and that can be cannot be combined because the 18 does not have the x. So just write it down. And let's write down the negative 9x first, and then plus 18. Then we want to get rid of we want to get rid of this too. And this is 2 times y. So we will have to divide it by 2 because we have to do the opposite. This and that will cancel. And then let's make sure we divide this by 2 and also divide the 18 by 2. Divide everything by 2. Notice it's separated by the addition, right? So this is the first term you divide it by 2. The 18, you divide that by 2. Finally, why it's not by itself, and we just work this out. You can write negative 9x over 2 like this, but this right here is in the equation of a line form. So I would like to write it as negative 9 over 2. And then put the x on the side, and then let's work out 18 divided by 2, which is 9. And then if you are doing the equation of a line, this is the so-called y is equal to mx plus b, the slope intercept form, and this is the form you want to be looking at. Now, for this one, same thing, solving for y. Here is the y, let's get rid of the 4x and we will have to subtract 4x to both sides. That way this and that can cancel. Keep in mind this is a minus y, so bring that down, and then this is equal to, this is negative 4x, and then that's a plus 3. Then, we will have to divide it by negative 1, because this is like negative 1 times y. So divide it by negative 1, so that will turn out to be a positive y. And just like what we did earlier, divide this by negative 1, and also divide this by negative 1. So work this out. Negative 4 divided by negative 1. Negative divided by negative gives you positive, and that's going to be positive 4. Keep the x, and then 3 divided by negative 1, you get negative 3. And that's it. Now for number 3, we have L is equal to... Now for number 3, we have A is equal to L times W. And this is the area of a rectangle formula, length times width. And we are going to solve for Y. Okay, for number 3, we have A is equal to L times W. Whenever there's no operations indicated in the middle, it means that we have a multiplication. To solve for L, well, because this is L times W, Let's get rid of the w by dividing the w to both sides. So that should work. Divide this by w and do the same thing to the other side. This way, this and that can cancel. And let's write down the l first and we get a over w. And that will do it. And in fact, this formula is the area of a rectangle formula. The area of a rectangle is length times width. Now for the fourth one, now for the fourth one, we have a equals 1 over 2 times d1 times d2. The d1 and d2, they are just like two variables with the subscripts right here, so they are different. And we are going to solve for d2. Okay, here we have d2, and let's get rid of the 1 over 2 first. The over 2 is like 1 divided by 2, so we will have to multiply by 2 to both sides. So put a 2 times this and 2 times that. That way this and that can cancel. So we see 2a equals d1 times d2. The 1 times this, the 1 doesn't matter. Then to get rid of d1, so we can get d2 by itself, let's just divide both sides by d1. So this and that cancel. D2 now it's by itself. Let me write it down right here. And that's equal to that. And that's it. 
we are done. All right, best of luck.